Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. And wow, Happy New Year. This is a it's so exciting to have a brand new year 2020. Woo! It is just awesome. And you know what? You know, what fun about that is, is that it's kind of like a do over, right? We can do things at the beginning, we can start it new, start it fresh. And uh, that's what our show today is about. So I want you to welcome you to WTSN TV Going Solo Network. I am Cece Schatz, and I am the founder and the CEO of Going Solo Network. And uh, those of you, and also date the right one. And if those of you that don't know what these businesses are, let me share them with you for just a minute. We um, actually, and I say we because I have built uh, the business around individuals that I I know, I adore, I love, and uh, it, it is really a, a community. It's a connection of singles. And it's a community that we're building. And so what we're doing is we're building uh, together, uh, connecting and building this wonderful environment where singles can go and not only get the information that they they need so desperately, but they can also connect with other singles and be able to get inspired and be able to move forward in their lives. So let me tell you a little bit about uh, Going Solo Network. Going Solo Network has a couple different uh, websites. One is uh, goingsolomedia.com, which is what you're listening to right now. We have a live streaming radio station and a TV station. We also broadcast live right here on YouTube and on Facebook. And we're growing like crazy. And I love it. And I want to thank you for that because it's you that's making this work for us. And we do appreciate it. We have an array of wonderful hosts that talk about a variety of different subjects. And uh, this is the Business Showcase. And we're really um, excited to be able to bring that forward to you. Our topic today is going to be goal setting. And so let me share a little bit more about myself because I think that's important, as you can see, as we evolve through goal goal setting. And um, this business has been uh, really evolving over years, Going Solo Network. We started out as My Friends Connect, and then we moved through to the Going Solo branding because we wanted to really know that um, that we're connecting singles and that's what we're doing is we're we're really opening that platform for them and so we have a variety of websites if you want to go to goingsolonetwork.com they're all there we have a going solo travelers connecting singles through travel we have a going solo next step which is um, my baby and it's a uh, it's come from our divorce support group. But what I found that over the years working with individuals who are really traveling through one of the toughest times of their lives, they're really reaching out, wanting to broaden and expand themselves. And so developed a new site called Going Solo Next Step. It's a national site uh, that those can join. And what you will find about the Going Solo Network uh, is that we try to keep all of the expenses down so that you can enjoy the platform. So often we see uh, platforms that are so expensive, they're hard for those to be able to join. Ours are very inexpensive. And what we want to do is create an interactive community that you can join, meet other people and get inspired. And that's what it's all about. So we have Going Solo Next Step. For our professionals, we have Going Solo Directory. We like to be able to have our professionals all in one place so our singles can go there and we can tap into individuals that we know are going to be there to help us and that um, you know they have all their information readily available there for them. So Going Solo Directory is for the our professionals. And then, of course, we're launching our brand new site, which is not, it's there, but it's not quite up and running like we want it to be, but that's got a date the right one. And that's going to take you from relationship loss of any sort, whether it's by death or by, um, you know, a divorce, but it's going to take you through that arena and bring you all the way through as you want to grow and inspire and move you forward in your life, take you all the way through to dating and, and we hope meeting the partner of your life. If not, you're going to connect with awesome singles that's going to really feel that you're at home and that you're connected. And that's really what going solo is about is so that you don't ever feel like you're alone. And so let's get on with what our topic is tonight, because I'm really, really excited about it. This is something, as you see, I have papers and papers and papers. Because goal setting is extremely important. And our topic tonight is to really evolve, try to make you evolve about 
what it is that you want to do and what you want to do in life. So I'm trying to find my goals here so I can I can kind of help you be able to establish yours. Now, here it is, 2020. We're at the beginning of a new year. It doesn't matter if it's 2020 or if you're listening to this and it's 2023 or 25 or whatever. We hope our, our videos are going to be long, long lasting for you all. But the information that you usually receive from our network is something you can take with you anywhere, anytime, and where you're at in life. And so this is it. You, When you're looking at goal planning, when you're looking at trying to establish what it is that you want to create in your life, it is really all about timing, isn't it? It's all about where you're at and where you want to be. And so they're very, there's keys to establishing your goals. And so one is that you want to be able to practice. I came up with this. Let me just bring it up here so I can read it to you. But Daryl uh, Zazorski, I believe if I'm pronouncing his right, his uh, uh, last name right, um, he came up with a SMART acronym, and it's five elements of being able to set your goals. And one is being specific, being measurable, being achievable, being relevant, and being time-based goals. It's a simple tool, it's used by businesses, and I feel individuals, and it goes beyond the realm of the fuzzy goal setting into the action plan for results. That's the key, action plan for results. So, so often we can say, we wanna do something, I wanna lose weight, I wanna do this, I want my business to grow, I want, I wanna have more friends in my life, I wanna do all of this stuff, but you don't put together an action plan. And so that is the true key of establishing goals for yourself. And so we all have different goals. We all have personal goals. We have business goals. We have relationship goals. And we're going to go through some of those. And, I, and I'm hoping that you're going to write these down and then maybe start establishing the goals that works for you. But again, you need to have those five elements in place or it's not going to be successful for you. Specific, be specific about your goals, okay? Measurable, make sure the time period is measurable as what you, you know, you want to take place. Achievable, is it realistic? Come on, are you going to really give up ice cream? Okay, if you're not, then work around that in your weight loss plan. Work around the things that you really can't give up. Or if you get off the track, then you can, you can you know, come back onto it. And we're going to talk about that in a minute too. Re uh, relevant. Is it truly, is your goal really relevant to you? Because if you don't take heart and stock of something, you will never achieve anything. You have to take ownership of what it is that you want to change. Time-based goals. Time-based is like, well, yeah, I'm going to lose weight. I want to lose weight this year. Yeah, when? How long? What is it, the period that you want to happen? And the reason you want to do this is not to create necessarily pressure on yourself, but you want to give yourself a time period in which to be able to get that gratification if you've actually been successful in achieving your goals. And so you, it's important to have a time-based goal so that you can really start digging in your heels when you need to dig in, or you can, you know, kind of let up and say, you know what, I did good this week. I did really good this week. So I'm going to reward myself. And I think that's something that's very, very important is that we do have to reward ourselves. We do have to be able to um, take that forward and be able to enjoy that. I want to thank you all for listening. I know there's some people out there listening to me. If you want to mark a, put a comment in or something, I can show it and we can talk about it. If you got a goal or something that you're challenged with, that maybe we can we can help you with. But here's five steps to be able to um, do your goals. And this is what I do. Everything that you see here, and I'm telling you, everything that you see me ever do with any of the environment I'm going solo, I've been there, I've done it, I've experienced it. And so this is how I do my goals. And it's a little bit, as my a good friend Christopher says, I'm a little bit like a blender. And I think that's because I'm creative. But um, so I am a little bit, uh, you know, out of the ordinary. But this will help you if you truly give it some some thought and some time to be able to put it forward to yourself. So there are five areas in which you want to set goals that are, would benefit you spiritually. You know, we all need to be in touch with our higher power, whatever your higher power is. And so spiritually, you may want to set a goal for yourself this year and and as we move forward, and we're going to talk about that too. But you you might want to set some goals spiritually for yourself. The other thing is your mind. 
you want to set mindset goals for yourself. And I know that sounds a little strange to some, but it's very, very important that you do that. Body, you want to set, you want to set some goals that pertain to your body. You know, you want to maybe be a little healthier this year. You want to lose some weight. Um, you want to tone up a particular area. Uh, something that does something with your body. So what you can do is get a piece of paper, write down these, make columns of these five different areas, and then jot down some of the things that you want to do. And then relationship goals. I think that is very, very important. It's a key, something that we don't maybe necessarily think about when we're building relationship, when we're building goals, our goal set is relationships, because guess what? Our lives are built completely around the relationships that we build right? Not necessarily about, let's say, a, a romantic partner or something like that. They're built around relationships that we nurture and that we feel is important. And we're going to talk about that too, because I think that's very important as we move forward in life, because that gives us our connection that we want. And then work, our business. Um, you know, we do, we have a site right here on uh, Facebook and we hope to be able to broaden that, but singles in business. And I, I feel that that's very important. It's, it's for individuals because let's face it, even if you're married, okay, even if you're married, sometimes you have to take singular mindset um, goals and steps in which to be able to move forward in your business. So the singles in business, you can be married. It's not a dating thing. It's not a hookup site. It's not anything like that. It's been able to get together, individuals getting together to help each other being able to move forward in business. So it can be having your own business. It can be in business, doing something that you want to, um, you know, let's say, for instance, you're a salesperson and you need to really keep your sales up. You need to be inspired. So why not inspire yourself with people that are, are wanting to help you do that? And so there are plenty of networking groups around, um, but this one is for single so that we can, we can connect with the other with that singular mindset. So those are the five, spiritually, mind, body, relationship, and work. So write that down. Make those areas for you. If you can come up with some other areas, I'd love to hear about it. But I think that it's important to be able to define the goals that you want and define the areas that you want to in which to achieve. So now let's talk a little bit about some of those things. We want to talk when we're talking about relationships, okay? Because you know, I'm the relationship, the doyen of relationship building, and uh, what that basically means is that I'm the connector of relationships, and so I pride myself on being able to connect not only singles but those that are in business, friends, and and associates, colleagues, because I feel that we're not in competition with each other, even in business. I don't feel we're in competition with each other. I stand apart from anyone out there with regards to what I do, because I'm a connector and I connect wonderful individuals into my life that help me, that inspire me. And I try to do the same for them because the world is very, very big. So let's talk about those kind of relationships that we're going to build. We're going to build love relationships, relationships built with love and affection and warm regards. Isn't that a wonderful thing to do? So let's say you want to have a love relationship in your life. For instance, a partnership of, you know, another person of the opposite sex or same sex or whatever. You want to you want to have this uh, this special kinship together. So you might want to make that one of your um, you know, one of your goals this year right? And then also friendships. You want to be able to nurture and build your friendships. You want to a little bit of adventure, right? Maybe some travel. You might want to put some travel in there. Um, travel helps us with our mindset. It helps us grow within our mindset. It also gives us an appreciation for what we have. Because have you ever traveled to another country and you look at some of what they've they've experienced and you think to yourself, man, you know, I really have it a lot better here than I thought I ever did. So travel might be one of them. Your environment might be an area in which you want to improve the share for yourself. Um, just the environment around you. Negative environment is just the worst thing. So maybe you want to start beginning to surround yourself with uh, people and, and uh, businesses and, and just that whole mindset of changing your environment. Maybe you want to change the place that you live. Maybe you want to buy a new car. Maybe you want to get yourself organized. And I think clutter um, 
is really is really down because the the elements that we have around us is um you know they give off vibrations they give off things and so if you have a lot of negative clutter in your in your house in your lives and, and around you that creates um you know a negative feeling for you to be able to not be able to move forward in your life so you want to think about that a little bit we're gonna have to take a quick break the time goes by so quickly so you guys are listening to wtsn db going solo network you, this is the business showcase i am cc chefs i am the founder and the ceo of going solo network and uh today i am my own guest so i hope that you're enjoying the show of uh, regarding setting our goals so we're gonna just take a quick break and we'll be right back Okay, welcome back to WGSN TV Going Solo Network. This is the Business Showcase, and I am Cece Schatz. And uh, the first part of the show, we talked a little bit about our goal setting, and I think that that is very important. Our, we, as we're starting this new year, it's a great time to be able to evaluate our goals. We talked about five different areas on which to set goals: spiritually, our minds, our bodies, our relationships and our work, our business environment. And then as we move forward, we're talking about love relationship, friendships, adventures, environment. Let's talk a little bit about health and fitness. That is a big, huge thing when you start a new year, man. Don't you see it on all the ads? We talk about fitness and health and, and losing weight and doing all of those things. So that may be a key for you. And if you want to put that down as one of your um, goals, that's certainly what you should do. So you want to keep in mind your health and fitness, your skills. I think skills are very important. You know, as we move forward and we get old, a little bit older, what starts happening is if we're not working our mind, we lose our mind, right? And so we have to continuously learn new things and be open to new things. And so your skill set evaluate it and see if you'd like to take a class in something you'd like to learn something are you afraid of something because sometimes the things that we're most afraid of are the things that we really are get a lot of enjoyment out of if we actually start doing them so think about different skills that you want to do your spiritual life you know we talked a little bit about that setting spiritual goals where are you in your your spiritual life what do you believe in you know what don't you believe in you know, do you, is there certain goals that you want to do with regards to building up your spiritual, your spiritual life, um, your career? Now, of course, we're going to talk about business. And I hope as we continue on our new horizon here on the business showcase, we're going to talk a lot about business, a tremendous amount about business. But business is the thing. Well, I'm, I'm talking about you have career, you have business goals. So I want to come back to that. Um, creative life, you're creative. Are you creative in your life, right? Are you creative in your lifestyle? Do you do different things? Do you think out of the box? Do you um, experience something new or is fear holding you back? Those are the things. Your family life, whoa, wow. That's, you know, we all come from some sort of dysfunctional family. I know I certainly come from a dysfunctional family. And I hate to say that maybe my kids even think I'm a bit dysfunctional. <laughs> I have no idea, but you have a family and somewhere out there, somewhere along the line. And so what you have to do is think about your family. And, and if you want to incorporate any kind of goals on that, if you want to do any nurturing with that, do you need to do any healing from that? You know, those kind of things. So that might be a good goal for you to set. Community life. Do you have a community around you? Because if you don't, you need to get one. You need to get and build a community, not only in business, but in friendship and uh, your environment. You want to build, um, you know, a, a fortress around you so that when you have times of need, you have someone that you can turn to. And so that's very, very important. And self-care. You know, we can never talk enough about self-care. You know, absolutely. You want to take care of yourself. You want to, you know, feed your body with what's important and you want to give back to others so that you you can, you know, inspire and grow from within. Um, Self-care is 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 really important. It's your your mind, body and soul. And so you want to really do and perform any elements that's important for that. 
And uh, that's very, very important. So let's talk a little bit more about as we move forward into these type of topics. And so today we are on the business showcase. So let's talk about business a little bit because I don't often do that. I don't often share about my business. I don't necessarily share about the experiences that I've had, but I have had it tough. I have had it rough. I have started from my divorce to having nothing, being absolutely penniless, not uh, coming from a very wealthy and uh, environment and um, to, to getting absolutely screwed, if I want to say it nicely, just getting totally screwed in my divorce, not only through, and I don't like to say anything bad about attorneys because I do respect them. And there are many wonderful attorneys out there, but I got screwed by my attorney. And if you're listening, you should be ashamed of yourself. And I, um, I, I got screwed by the court system. You know, I went into my divorce thinking that I would be protected by the laws. I'd be protected by the court. But what what I didn't understand about my divorce, I wasn't protected by life and I wasn't protected about those that deceive. And so when we're talking about business, I think it's important that we need to know that we can come from nothing. OK. Having a good idea, um, being shown something, but we can we can arise out of 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 really being inspired and give other people uh, a step up. So we, whatever our humble backgrounds are, and you, you're here, especially over Facebook. I mean, Facebook now constantly says ads and different things like that. And, and you'll hear it throughout your lifetime, how people have come from rags to riches, right? It's possible. And if you are, you know, going through that in your business, if you are you know, having difficult times, don't think for a minute that can't be reversed, that it can't, you can't build up from that, but you can only do that through hard work, through goal setting and through determination, you know, showing up. And so that's the whole thing with goals and is showing up to them, right? Is doing what you need to do. And so I think in business, I think that we can do anything that we want to do. We have to be creative. Right. We have to be um, inspired and <coughs> excuse me. And we have to be. I mean, I, I think we have to be not afraid, not afraid to be able to try something different, do something different. And so that's how I've built what I've built with going solo network. I have built it around people that have not had faith in me, who have not stood by me, who have stolen from me who have told me that I could not be successful. I have built this and I'm still building it. I mean, is it where I want it to be? No. And you know, it's not a bad thing because it inspires me to keep going. It inspires me to go further. It, expire, it inspires me to be able to shift my mind and say, okay, this isn't working. Let's try this. Oh, that's not working. Let's try this. It, it, it keeps me in the realm of being able to be creative in what I want to do. So wherever you're at in your business, whether you think you're up high, you know, there's, there's still a higher platform you can go to. If you are, you know, just starting out, you can move forward in it, but you have to set goals for yourself and you have to set them exactly like we said, smart, right? We've got to be able to do that. It's, it's very, very important. Let's go over that again, because I think that's important when we're building our, our goal settings. Number one, when you're talking about business, you've got to be specific about what it is that you want to do on your goal set. Like, for instance, if, you, um, if you're starting your business, if you want to get an office space or you need to get help, like, for instance, one of my goals this year is to stop doing everything myself. I create everything. I do everything. And I need to not, not, not only turn that over to someone else, but I need to allow someone else to help me do that. So my specific goal this year is that I need to um, I need to achieve people. I need to connect myself with people who have the same mindset that I do, the same work ethic and who want to be able to move forward in their lives and connect with them to create um, in a wonderful place for them to be able to do that with. 
And then, of course, we have to have the measurable. We have to be able to measure, you know, like how many people am I going to need? What areas do I want to develop within my business? How do I want to do that? And then how can I achieve this? How can I get these individuals to be able to work with me, to be able to move forward, to, you know, do different things so that we can we can um, make the business grow and relevant is this truly relevant are these people that I need truly relevant to my business and growth and what is going to happen time-based goals of course is how much time am I going to need what steps am I going to put in place to be able to make that happen and so that's just one of my goals and I have several I mean I've got several goals in all of these areas that I want to achieve. Now, let's talk a little bit about the goals themselves. We make a lot of different goals, right? We say we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And then we get discouraged because something happens and we don't achieve what it is that we want to achieve. That's why you put in a, a mindset. You give yourself, like, for instance, I had a friend told me, um, she told me when I, we were talking about money and I was worried about money a few years back and she gave me some wonderful advice. What she said to, to do is like, so often we take our, our funds, right? And we look at it from 30 days. We look at it from a monthly budget, that kind of thing. She said, don't do that. Take and break your budget down into weekly and then take that weekly and establish what it is that you need to pay, what you need to do, what you need to achieve. All of those things. How do you make the money to cover those bills? And I thought that was really great advice. And that is exactly what I have done for the last couple of years is I've broken it down through, okay, I need this much money this week. I need to make this much money. What can I do to make this much money? How, how do I achieve that? And the same thing with all the other goals that we want to do. So let's say, for instance, you want to lose weight. You break it down into week, right? Then you take that week and you can break it down into seven days, right? So each day, what am I going to do to achieve that goal? And that's exactly what we have to do in business. We have to do that in life. What are you doing to make that happen, right? And so if we break it down into smaller increments of time, we uh, not only do we achieve what we do, but we can stay a little bit more on target. Right. Because if we say to ourselves, I know, for instance, my son, when he was younger, he had like to read a book. Right. You have to read this book over the summer. So you have several weeks in which to read it. And I say to him, you're not reading your book. You need to read your book. No, no, no. You know, I've got time. I've got time. I'll read my book. Well, then, of course, it came to the end of the summer. And I'd say, have you read your book? What are you doing? I'm trying to read my book. I got to get this time. Um, you know, and it's like. If you had taken the book, and which he does now, and he breaks it down into daily reading, right? Do, doing something daily to be able to progress my progress himself, that made it a whole lot easier. And then he found himself. Sometimes he he said, "Okay, I would need to read a page a day." So I would read that page a day, and then he might be into it, and he reads a little bit more. So he read two pages, right? So if he kept doing that over a length of time, he would actually have have that book read long before he needed to before the end of the summer so it's the same thing with our goal planning and you know what <clears throat> i'm sorry my throat has gotten dry but the, here's the thing we all know this we all know what we need to do we all know when we need to do it we all know that we just need to do it right and so here's the thing if we just take something every day we do a little something towards it right we do something a little positive moving towards our goals. We'd be able to achieve it. But we have to show up. We have to do what needs to be done. And when it doesn't work out, we can't blame anybody but ourselves. You know? So it's very, very important. If you say to yourself, I want a partnership in life. You know, I'm really looking for my lifelong partnership. I'm looking for love in my life. What have you done to prepare yourself for that? So often we get on these dating sites and we blame the dating sites for not being able to, to make that happen. But what have we done to prepare ourselves 
to be the right kind of partner that's going to be desirable to someone else. We tell ourselves, we're not going to change. I'm not changing. You're either like me the way I am or you don't like me at all. Well, guess what? Many of those people are by themselves and they're alone, right? So the thing is, is it's not about it's not about change. And these goals are not about changing your life. It's not about making you feel like you have to do something when you don't want to do it. It's a guide to get you where you want to go. Because you know, in your heart of hearts, you know what you need to do. You know the elements of success are there for you. You know you are worthy of success. But you have to put together a plan to make that happen. And no one else can do that. And you have to, number one, adapt yourself. You have to relish change in your life. You know, you have to open up your world and say, you know what? I'm okay. I'm okay with some change. That doesn't mean you have to change your core values. You have to change something that's very important to you. But you have to adapt yourself to life. You have to adapt yourself to business. You have to adapt yourself to people. You have to to do things to build relationships. You know, you have to to create an open mindset to be able to move forward in life. And so what's holding us back from achieving success and achieving the goals that we want to achieve is ourselves. And so if you want a loving partner to yourself, you what partner in your life, if that's one of your goals this year, then what are you doing about it? You know, you got to show up on the sites that are out there. Right. And and they say often five people, singles are they are They sign up to five different sites, sign up to five sites. So what? You know, it doesn't make you a crazy person. It just makes your odds of meeting somebody a little bit broader. Right. Then don't judge the people before you actually meet them that they could be the wrong person. You know, because it could be the right person, right? And then allow yourself to be able to adapt and change a little bit and 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 have an open mindset to to new experiences and new lives and new ways of looking at things. So how we experience this in relationship building is the same as how we've experienced things in, in our careers, in our in our business world. You know, if we take a business. And we think it has to be done one way and only one way and forever, it will go stagnant and it won't grow. You know, McDonald's is a pure example of that. You know, McDonald's started out, I think, with probably just a few items and now they have many items, right? You've got Dairy Queen, okay? For instance, that's a good example. Dairy Queen started out with ice cream. And now, if you go to Dairy Queens today, a lot of them are selling burgers and different things because they broaden themselves. They've been open to change. They've been able to move forward and think, you know what? The world is shifting and I need to shift right along with the world. And so why do we think we as business people, we don't have to do that? Because we most certainly do, you know? So you want to create an open environment for your your business. You want to create an open environment for your life, right? You want to create an open environment for the world in which you live in. And so... I think goal setting is a wonderful, wonderful thing to do. Now, let's talk just a little bit briefly about achieving those goals, because the thing is, is so often we give up because we think we haven't achieved a particular goal. We say to ourselves, "Okay, I want to lose weight. Right. One thing that's a little broad and we have to home it in a little bit more. We have to define that goal a little bit more. We have to put a time on it. We have to put an essence of a business plan or an action plan together on it. But here's the thing is if we say to ourselves, we want to be healthy in life, we want to get to whatever our target weight is, we want to do whatever those kind of things are, that's that is something that we're working towards. So if we feel like we failed in something particular and the same thing can be for business, if we find that a particular area in our business isn't working as we had wanted it to do, it doesn't mean we failed right it just means we have to shift a little bit and we have to be able to move move keep moving forward success of a goal is really on the momentum of the action right it's momentum of what you're doing and so if you find that you're not doing something appropriately or correctly or on time 
or you're not doing it at all, get doing it, right? Do it a little differently. You know, be be creative in your in your mind process. So when we're talking about business and we're talking about the elements of your business itself, evaluate all of those businesses that are similar to yours around there. I have several people that are, I can see that are in business doing things, doing things that that I was told was not successful that I've been doing, but they've been taking bits and pieces of my stuff and doing it themselves, right? So what? You know, I'm flattered. I'm flattered with it. I want them to be equally as successful as I'm successful because it doesn't matter because the world is so large and it is shifting and changing just as fast as we possibly can. And so whatever's going to work today may not work tomorrow. And so we have to keep on our heels and we have to keep being creative with it. We have to keep being inspired. We have to be those people that people look up to that want to say, hey, I want to I want to do what they're doing or I want to I want to get on on that momentum. I want to get on that train. And so like join these networking groups that are out there. They're a great way to inspire you to build you up to feed you. Uh, it's kind of like a hunger, right? As you're building your business, as you're doing things that you need to do. I have learned so much from different networking places that I've gone to. I mean, I can't tell you there's a couple of them that I, I go to that every time I go there, I learn something new. I take along these books. I'll show you. I take along a book like this, you know, and I write in it. This one's almost full. And I write in everything, everything. And you can see it's got pages and pages and pages and pages and pages of stuff. And I keep, I keep it. And I, and what I do is when I go to networking groups, I take this book and I make notes and I write stuff in it. If I don't, I write it on a piece of paper and I bring it back and I put it in. I keep it because, and then I have gone back to these books so many times that I, I'm amazed at what, what I'll find because it's timing, right? Where I'm at now, I may not be ready for whatever I heard. But I write it down because I think I have interest in it. It relates to me. It's something that maybe I could use for myself personally or I could use for my business or something like that. So I write it down. Anything that I come across, if I read something, if I go to a networking meeting, if I do anything, I write it down in these books and then something happens. And then I go to whatever in my business or whatever seems to happen and I think, oh, yeah, I remember I wrote that down and worked that website that can possibly help me, you know, like, for instance, I'll give you a pure example is I, I've always wanted, I never wanted to, to write a book or anything like that. At first, I never wanted to do that. I never thought, I never thought I could possibly do anything like that. Then as my, my business started to shift, as my mindset started to shift, as my fears started to shift, I started to realize, you know what? I can write a book. Then I got involved with Mari Mitchell. You guys know her. She inspired me to write a chapter in her book. She said, Cece, I want you to write a chapter because then this way you'll be an author and this will help you. It will, it will move you forward in your business and it will help you. She was right. Absolutely right. I kept thinking, I can't possibly write. I can't possibly write. How could I possibly do this? So that negative mindset kept bringing me down, 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 down. So she called me up one day and she said, Cece, have you written that chapter yet? I need that chapter. And so she gave me some word of advice and wisdom and things like that and inspiration to be able to move forward. That's why it's important to be connected to people and have relationships. So anyhow, so I got up one morning and I said to myself, this is it. I'm going to write this chapter. I sat down, got up in the morning. I'm very good in the morning. It's kind of my creative space, quiet. I got up, I knocked that chapter out in half an hour. I sat down, I wrote that chapter out. Very, I gave it to her. I said, listen, this is it. I'm not good on writing. So God only knows what it's going to look like. I sent it to her. She said, you know what? I just added in a couple comments and periods and it was fine. And she ran with that. Absolutely wonderful. Something I thought I could never, ever do, right? So now this gets to me the story. 
of, of what I wanted to share with you. So here I went to a networking meeting, right? A wonderful podcaster association that we have here locally. Now it's growing, growing, growing. Love him. And um, I went to his networking meeting and he shared with us how he, you could take the word or, you know, what we're talking, how we're, we're talking today on the show. We could drop it down into, um, you know, be able to, to transcribe it, transcribe our, our shows. And then, bring it into a word form and we could possibly, um, you know, write a book. And I thought, I want to do that. That is really what I want to do because I really feel like our shows out there are so good that they honestly could help other people. But I do know that there are those that can't, um, and I've got to probably hurry now, but can't, that don't really go on the internet, right? They're not really internet based. So they have fear of that or whatever. So I thought I need to do this in a written form. So he gave me a website to be able to use. Now, meantime, I've used very different websites and things like that, but I have launched our very first book with our interview. Right. And I hope to do more of that to be able to bring those wonderful interviews out into a written form so that those can enjoy it. But what else I've done is I've actually been able to put together and I'm working on it now. And I've got a whole new book with all of all of my wonderful ideas and things like that that I've been able to put together. So that's going to be out into that's one of my goals. And that's going to be out in 2020. So I'm really excited about that. But here's the thing. I came from thinking I could not possibly do something to actually achieving it. Now, you know, is it going to be successful? Well, we'll see over time, you know, but it's successful to me because I achieved the goal that I set out to do. So here's for you. And I want to end the show here today because we got to close, close because we don't want to go over time. But I want to share with you that you can achieve anything that you want to do. The best thing to do is get the goal, right? You know, do the, I love what he said, and, and I'll say it a million times, but I, I think that it's very important to be able to get the five elements of a goal setting is be specific, be measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-based goals on whatever you want to do. If you have a, a spiritual goal that you want to achieve, a mindset goal, a body-related goal, a relationship-building goal, and a career or business goal. I mean, think all of that can do for you. And something I heard just recently, and I want to share this too, is, is I heard this recently on a TV show that where this gentleman wrote a book about setting goals and how to do them and things like that. And one thing he said, which I thought was very, very important, was when you want to achieve something that you want to stop for a minute and think of the individuals that that are achieving those goals or what does that what does that look like to you long down the road and i think what what i was what he was trying to say is envision yourself to the end right envision yourself to what it's going to look like after you achieve that. I have a good friend here, a wonderful host that's on our, our station, uh, Davida Smith, and she's going to be on here at three o'clock. I hope you guys will listen to her show, uh, Living uh, Living on Purpose. Uh, I think she should add empowerment with that because I love her shows. She's a, a It's a God-based religion type of show. So if you, if you like that kind of thing, it's a great show. But what she says all the time, and I love it, is that she is going to be, you know, a best-selling author. She's going to be like on the top of, of, and, and being an author. And she is creating her own book now. And I hope in 2020, she'll be able to have that completed. But she is going to be a best-selling author. So what she's doing is she's envisioning down the road what that's going to do, how that's going to be, how that's going to feel for her, how she's going to experience that moment of being able to achieve that goal. That's where you want to be. So when you are making your goals, your lists up, you know, I've got the list here. But when you're making those lists up of goals that you want to achieve, as you're writing them, envision yourself to the end. You know, I want to have a love, a loving, wonderful relationship in the year of 2020. I, I, I see that. I envision that. I feel that. Right. So you want to have that feeling. So as you're moving forward in your goal setting, as you're being realistic about planning your action plan of your goals, achieving your goals, you know what that feels like. So when you meet the right one, you are going to feel that just like that. It's going to be there for you because you've already put up 
you know, you've already envisioned it. You've already put what needs to happen in place. You just have to get to the end of where, where that is. And so and that can be anywhere and it can be as long as you, you make that process. So it's up to you to be able to move forward in that. So a lot here. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. I, I appreciate you listening. And I want to thank you so much. If you like this, please like it on Facebook. Please like it on YouTube. Share it with other people. Let those know that we're out there. We do appreciate it. Um, you are listening to the goingsolomedia.com. We have many, many um, hosts and information there. So I hope that you'll go to our website, sign up for our newsletter. It's a lot of fun. We have a lot of stuff that's going out. Our magazine is going to be hitting uh, here uh, in 2020. That's another goal we got. And so we've got a lot of really great things happening. I hope you will join me on our various different sites. All you need to do is go to goingsolonetwork.com. You'll see all that we're doing there. And connect with our wonderful guests that we have on our shows. Because I tell you what, they are pretty awesome. They give up their time and their energy, and we want to appreciate them for that. So if you'd like to be on the show on the WGSN TV Going Solo Network Business Showcase, I would love to have you. I am Cece Schatz. I am the doyen of Relationship Builder Building. I am the founder and the CEO of Going Solo Network. And I am very proud to be able to say that we are connecting singles every single day and inspiring them to live the life that they want to live. So anyhow, I will see you back here. And uh, we've got a wonderful show happening at three o'clock. We've got shows live on uh, YouTube and Facebook. Our Thursdays are our live shows. So we've got one at three o'clock. We have one mine again at seven. I have a wonderful uh, Rosalind Sedaka who's going to be appearing with me on that. If you're listening to a rebroadcast, just check out the uh, the YouTube channel and you'll find it there. But And then we also have, we're following up with Janet M. Reynolds, uh, who is the Insight with Blue Feather. We're going to have the Boy and Girl thing. We always have fun things on that. That's at nine o'clock. And 10 o'clock, we have Arnie Fonseca Jr., who is pretty awesome. If you guys have not heard of him, his show is Health, uh, Love and Life or Health, Life and Love, whichever. And, uh, but, it, you know, we just have really a lot of inspiration here. And so we're adding more and more shows, more and more hosts. And I am very fortunate to say more and more guests. So if you'd like to be a guest on the show, go to Going Solo Network uh, at gmail.com. Drop me an email and let me know. We'd love to be able to bring you forward. And um, we have a variety of uh, shows, so we can definitely get you into one of them. So I love you. I want to thank you so much for listening to me today. I hope you enjoyed the goal setting. If you want more information on that, I can uh, give you some uh, networking information uh, that you can maybe uh, tap into. We've got a wonderful motivational speaker who is not with us uh, this Thursday, but will be with us next Thursday. He's awesome, and uh, he's good at things like that. So anyhow, love you, and you're listening to WG. TSN DB Going Solo Network. We are the number one internet singles talk network and we're doggone proud of it. Talk to you later. Bye.